So I just fought Manor Lords. Pin them. <laughs> And I'm gonna play it for 24 hours straight. Okay boys, cut some trees. Oh my god, I'm upgrading already. Oh, I can WASD. I think we need to construct. All of this. What do I do next? As I started, it's pretty obvious that I didn't know what to do. The majority of R1 is me messing around and trying to learn the game. An assign? No. Construct that sh There you go. Our town is thriving. We need to trade, boys. How do we trade? I have no, no clue what the f I'm doing. <laughs> that made me bored. But then. go again shall we okay hear me out based on what i learned these are the main key points for establishing your village let's start with these three construction food and fuel first is construction you need buildings to provide basic needs for example logging camps produce timber hunting camps produce meat and hides and woodcutters lodge produce firewood but the main thing to build is birdcage plots which provides living space for your family more family equals thriving Families can be assigned to different jobs. If every family is occupied, they can work on building structures like this one. The only solution is to assign them at their current job, wait for them to build, and then hire them again. Oh, let's build a marketplace now, yes? I learned that an hour ago. Every family requires basic needs like food, clothing, fuel, etc. This is where the marketplace comes in. Families can establish their own stalls and sell goods depending on what jobs they are assigned to. If the requirements are not met, families will start to leave your village. Oh my god, we're thriving! There you go, there you go, boys. There you go. Development. This is where you strategize the growth of your town. I won't go into full details, so pick carefully. Now let's fast forward a little bit. Okay boys, we're gonna kill a lot of people. <laughs> now let me introduce you to war. The very first thing to keep in mind is to always have an army ready to fight for you. My year 7 town was destroyed because I didn't have enough army to defeat them. I gotta keep that in mind in the next game. Check this out. I saw this video on YouTube where a guy made a circular town which gave me an idea. What if I made the same town as this guy? I repeatedly looked for a good spot to establish my town and this turned out to be okay. Then I started working on the road, the bridge plots, the church, the marketplace, and more. This is how it turned out. It's shit. I decided to just go with the flow and work with what I got. Earlier, I learned that trading is essential because if you don't have that resources in your region, you can trade that with the resources you are rich in. For example, this resource. This one doesn't have a crown like this one, which means this has more resources than this one. You can utilize this by making more of that product than trading it with the ones you are lacking. Got it? Now the money! This is my treasure. My own money. This is the money of the people. I can't use that. The only way to earn money is by taxes but with a cost. So after a few months, I earned this much money. I'm gonna use this money to go to another region, which is essential to plant crops, so my region can trade on their own. But another problem is this. Influence. You can get influence by taking out armies and camps around the map. So Avengers, assemble! Push forward! <laughs> Attack! Get out! <laughs> Archers, get out! Join the fight, you three! Going home? No! Let's go! Oh, Archers! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Woo Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Peace declared.
I know I skip a lot of hours but let me show you what I've been working on. Just to show you, this is what my starting settlement looked like before. And then this is what it looks like now. As I mentioned before, I'm going to go to another region for efficiency, which I did. Here is that progress now. I also expanded my region. This is where I'm planting crops for food and other goods. And this is where I focus on mining, which in the future will be my goods for my army to use. After spending 24 hours playing this game, I will be sure to continue playing it. Of course, there's still a lot to learn about this game and it always excites me to learn something new. Thank you Manor Lords for the great experience. Till then, peace out.